This morning, after 396 years, the Caribbean island of Barbados becoming the world's newest independent republic. At the stroke of midnight, Sandra Mason became the nation's first ever president. So help me God. In the crowd, Barbadian singer Rihanna, alongside Prince Charles, representing his mother. The creation of this republic offers a new beginning. He also the acknowledged the appalling atrocity of slavery. The queen, previously the country's head of state, has visited Barbados many times over the years, but this week she's stayed at home, still taking it easy since her hospital stay back in October. Here in the UK, the firm, as the royal family is known, is busy going to battle on another front. The House of Windsor and the British press. Heavily criticizing the new two-part BBC documentary called The Princes and the Press. The program delves into the intense media coverage of Princes William and Harry. In a rare move, Buckingham Palace, Clarence House and Kensington Palace put out a joint statement that the BBC included, saying a free, responsible and open press is of vital importance to a healthy democracy. However, too often it is overblown and unfounded claims from unnamed sources that are presented as facts, and it is disappointing when anyone, including the BBC, gives them credibility. In another bombshell release this week, the author of Brothers and Wives speaking exclusively to the Today Show. Christopher Anderson reporting that Harry and Meghan began distancing themselves after the Queen did not include their photo in a 2019 Christmas address. Harry did feel as if he was being erased, according to a friend of his, uh, would be erased from, was being erased slowly from the family. That was, an, that was quite the signal the Queen was sending. And Anderson also said he traced a comment about the potential complexion of Meghan and Harry's children back to Prince Charles, but says it was twisted by royal advisors. But it was turned into something very toxic. It was weaponized, really, mm -hmm. by the, uh, the men in gray. Now, there is a lot to talk about. Going back to that BBC documentary, the documentary essentially says that Princess William and Harry and their families have stopped playing the game with the royal press, but the BBC is defending it, saying in a statement, it's about how royal journalism is done and features a range of journalists, but I gotta say, it is creating pretty big stir here today. Hoda? All right, Molly Hunter Force there, Buckingham Palace. Molly, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.